Hey guys, so a few of you mentioned me doing a review of another once that finished and I decided since people actually wanted to hear that I would do that first. Another is a 12 episode anime from PA Works following the story of Koichi who moves into a town called Yomiyama and transfers to a new school. He's placed in class 3 and meets a girl called Misaki Mei. And to be honest that's about all I want to say about this show because then we get into the realm of spoilers. I don't know how that happens with like a sentence but I'm just going to talk about preferences with shows for me. I don't like the horror genre. I have never found an appeal in being scared, therefore I've never really gotten invested in this genre to a great degree. Higurashi is one of my favourite series but I never found that scary. It's just horror isn't my genre and another is definitely a horror show because I found myself quite scared watching some of it. But the reason why I'm saying this is because regardless of the fact that it was a horror show, I actually really enjoyed another. I guess this does bring up the point that I didn't actually feel scared through most of the series but the atmosphere was very unsettling, I'll say. I felt like it was kind of setting this atmosphere all the time and I guess that's how you're supposed to do it but for me everything having this really creepy feeling to it just didn't really sit too well with me. The reason I say that is because it made the things that were actually supposed to be really creepy a lot less creepy and the things that weren't supposed to be creepy a lot more creepy than they should have been. That's a really kind of minor flaw. The atmosphere is perfect for the show. I couldn't say anything better about it, it's just perfect. To be honest I don't really find many more flaws in this show aside from some storytelling elements later on in the series which I'm not going to get into because spoilers. Big fat spoilers. And I don't really know if you can call them flaws, it's just my inexperience with the horror genre so that they could be fine for all I know. We'll talk about characters which is possibly my least favourite thing in this show. I felt that they were very one-dimensional not very memorable and very bland in places. Any backstory that you did get on these characters I just kind of felt uninterested. I think that it was supposed to make me care more about these characters but I just didn't. And I don't think the reactions from them in a few situations were completely accurate because I feel like if something like that happened to me I would have taken a lot longer to get over it rather than been in school the next day and everything be fine. But to be honest they weren't boring to watch, they were actually quite interesting characters in the story, it's just I didn't care about them too much I guess. The OST was good considering it kept the atmosphere 100% of the time. It was just in this very bleak and unsettling atmosphere like I've said before. The OST isn't something I don't think I would listen to, like put on my iPod and listen to as I'm walking down the street, you know. It's an incredibly well put together soundtrack for the show and it really works well with the other elements in the show. Though I have to say, although I find the opening relatively fitting, I didn't like it at all. I listened to it once in episode one and I was just like skipping it the rest of the time. I really really hated the opening. The animation was surprisingly fitting too and I guess it's because I had really low expectations for it considering I know PA works for the bright happy colourful shows like Hanasako Yoroha but another is like on the opposite end of the scale so that's a horror show. The animation was just so well done, it was frightening. I felt like the movements were very fluid and realistic and that was kind of creepy in some aspects and I felt that the colour palette was just perfect for this show. Even the reds were dulled down and it just looked grim and it was so fitting, it was so good. I have to say I was not invested in this show and its story until episode 3. I was on the verge of just being like this is a terrible show, why did I ever consider picking this up? Then episode 3 happened and episode 3 was phenomenal and that's when I started to get interested so I'd say if you are going to watch this you aren't going to get any proper story until episode 3 and then it will draw you in so give it 3 episodes and if you don't like it by then and it doesn't make you want to carry on watching it's probably not your kind of show but overall I don't really have a whole lot else to say on another it was a fantastic show and really surprised me from my opinions of the first 3 episodes to how I thought of it in the last few episodes is just such a jump because I didn't care for this show at all at first but the fact that it managed to draw me who isn't still isn't a horror fan into this story and make me watch every week every Monday is phenomenal and I think it deserves credit for that. I would recommend another to anyone who is a horror fan but I would say give it three to four episodes. Before I go the other thing that I found with this show was that the synopsis and the PV completely misled me. I did not expect it to be as good as it was. It just wasn't what I was expecting at all. So take that into consideration if you will. I definitely 
recommend another and if you've seen another leave a comment down below let me know what you thought please try and keep it spoiler free for those people who haven't seen it because there were a lot of spoilery comments in my guilty crown video so keep that in mind for people who haven't seen the story that's about all i want to say on another there'll be another video up later tonight on chi hayafuru so i will see you guys next time it's just horror's not my thing and and